motor to operate. Eddie Williams' previous career was in the airline industry. With the company five years and all of a sudden, boom. You know, the airline industry got bad. Everything went well. They laid off a whole bunch of people. You see it coming? No, no. It called us in one month, told us things were going bad. We were going to have to, you know I mean, cut some people back, you know what I mean, and uh, be prepared. An hour later, they were, <laughs> they were coming, tapping people on the shoulders, and escorting you out. This is Deborah DeNorcia. She says her job left town, and it left her behind. I worked for a paper company and they went through a Chapter 11 reorganization and reorganized me out of a job. And so I didn't really know what I was going to do. I was sending out resumes, wasn't getting a whole lot of response. Eddie and Deborah's stories are like stories of many laid off residents living in or near Union County. But they took advantage of a local advanced manufacturing training program. It's being offered through South Piedmont Community College. Examine of closed bits. Russell Carpenter helps train the new workers who come to South Piedmont. Right now we're in normal mode. His classes number about 10 students who'll study under him for about a 10 week period. Carpenter says many of these students are between 40 and 60 years old. Many are really hesitant about re-entering the classroom. A lot of these are displaced workers, guys that have been doing the same job basically all their life and all of a sudden those jobs are gone. How often do you find yourself convincing them they can do it before you get them to do it? Uh, that's probably the biggest challenge is getting, getting these guys to believe that they can do it. Because when you first come in, it's really intimidating looking, but if they apply to yourself, they're, they're really surprised that they can do it. It's not like a regular class where you come in here, you, you get all this other stuff before you actually get your hands wet. You come in the door diving into what you need to, and what you need to, to make yourself marketable in the, in the workplace. Do you master a technique here or are you a jack of all trades? You're absolutely a jack of all trades and you need to master them all. And that's the beauty. It doesn't go both ways. Well, no, it, it, it does here. <laughs> we got magnetic sensors. Our goal is to get these guys in and get them working as fast as we can. And then hopefully in the long run, after they're employed, they, they can come back for more short-term classes. And we want them to be able to continue a lifetime of education. This is not something we want them to come in, get it, and forget about us. I perceive this as local companies need some employees or are anticipating needing them. Yes. They need people ready to go right then. No geography and philosophy. No, no, no. And, no. And, and these are guys, these are folks who want concrete stuff to do. They don't want to, I mean, they get theory. They got to understand the basics, but, but they, but they, they want to get in there with their hands and their mind. It's not just hands, it's hands and mind and really make things work. Most of the advanced manufacturing students receive full tuition stipends to retrain their job skills. While South Piedmont can promise to make these students more prepared for the next job they receive, they cannot guarantee a job. I don't make any promises, especially in this economy, but we do uh, stay in contact with HR people and we do all we can to get them in and to get them into the field working. I think Russell says about 60% of the people who have gone through this in the last two years now have jobs. 60%? 60%. Is that good? That's, that's good, but it's not great. It's not where we would want it, but you got the economy. That's out of 200 people, so that's 120 people that are working now in good jobs. Because of the investment in the training equipment, we have the ability to give people the opportunity to be masters in all these areas and really have a deep understanding of hydraulics, a deep understanding of pneumatics, and more importantly, a deep understanding of how those systems work in a big manufacturing environment. Remember what I've told you. South Piedmont Community College leaders believe they can create enough skilled workers to make Union County a destination for manufacturing industries. For those newly and now differently skilled workers who've graduated class, well, they believe they can deliver when those companies come calling.